We all have different backgrounds, different stories, but when we get on the field together, we're all the same. We want to play football, we want to do big things and make this history. Even though they come from all different backgrounds, they might not even be friends at school, but as soon as they're on that field, they have each other's back. The new documentary short film First Down takes a look at the first all-girls tackle football league in the country. It grew from just 50 players to 650 and is helping girls overcome obstacles on the field and off. Carrie Stead is the director and producer of First Down and she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, I know of some schools that have trouble now uh, getting boys to play football just because of all the things we know now about concussions and so forth. How are they getting enough girls to come out for these kinds of uh, uh, teams? You know, that's a that's a great question. Uh, and every year it gets more and more. I think there's there's believe it or not, um, girls want to play football. And I think what they've tapped into at this league um, is just that. And once they started giving girls an opportunity, they have no problem getting sign up. So um, I'd love to see more of that um, in other cities. Why did it take off in, in this particular league? What were they doing in this Utah Girls Football League that, that has been more successful than other parts of the country, if it has? I think that what this league has, has done so well is um, created a supportive environment and opportunities for girls all over town to, to be a part of it. Um, and, you know, it, it takes supportive families also um, supporting the league and, and just sticking with it over many years. It's really impressive what they've been able to do, but it, it's really about the heart and the time commitment that they've all put into it. Huh. And at some might wonder if they suffer more injuries than, than the boys do. You know, I, they've they've said that they haven't. They've had a one or two um, instances of uh, of injury, but it's definitely not been. You know, I know a lot of people have expressed concern to them, um, but they haven't seemed to have have that issue. They do they do avoid special teams, which they say is is uh, one place where a lot of the injuries happen. Right. So by removing special teams, they've been able to to avoid avoid that. So are they able? Is this something that's going to start a movement across the country? Well, I, I hope so. I hope so. I know there's been many other cities that, that have tried it. And now with so much more visibility, and I, I believe the NFL is investing in flag football, that there'll become more um, more visibility that this is even something you could pursue. I mean, if, if this had been around when I was in high school, I would have signed up in a heartbeat. Well, for more, you can check out firstdownfilm.com. Uh, Carrie, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks, Carrie.